She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. We are very blessed that you decided to join us today. I'm excited to bring to you um, some friends, some clients, some amazing people that uh, we've had the opportunity to work with and meet from, from actually two different countries. And today you're going to be inspired to move your life ahead. You know, here on this show, every single day, we are challenging you to design your life, to live it the way you want to live it. We challenge you to throw out the status quo of success and to really define success for you. Because I promise you, society, especially the marketers, are trying to tell you what success looks like. And unfortunately, if you go after what they are determining what success looks like, you might find yourself in a miserable marriage. You might find yourself in a miserable career, completely overflowing with debt instead of wealth, (laughs) and living a life that you never wanted, you certainly didn't sign up for, and that you certainly didn't go after, but you were enticed, even seduced, lured into living a life that you thought was successful, only to wind up with a pile of, I can't say that word here on this show, a pile of, I'm going to say that word, dung. (laughs) That's okay. I can say dung. But that's what we end up with. Listen, I know it to be true because I lived it, and I've watched hundreds of thousands do the same thing as our clients have broken free from the status quo of success, and they've learned to define it for themselves. And so today, you're going to meet some individuals that did that. People just like you. People just like me. People just plugging along through life, you know, doing life, working for a living, making money, going into debt, dealing with our health issues, dealing with our communication issues, dealing with our relationship issues, or or the lack thereof. And these people found themselves in a place where they were reaching up and asking for help. They searched for answers instead of just staying stuck. The first person I'm going to bring you today is Mike Gibson. He is from Alberta, Canada. Precious man, I'm so excited for you to hear his story. Get ready because he will inspire you just with decisions that he made and how he's been able to do it. And there's a love story involved in this story. So stay tuned to the end of his interview because we're going to unpack how did he meet this girl? What steps did he take that he learned at a business seminar to be able to find this bride who he is completely not only in love with, but he's infatuated with this woman and she is infatuated with him. (laughs) I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway, so Mike Gibson, welcome to The Danny Johnson Show. Wow, thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to have you with us today. Okay, so Mike, you found yourself as a college dropout trying to yep. kind of find your way. Why did you drop out of college? Um, I don't know. It's that whole like status quo thing. I, I, was, uh, I had started a t-shirt company at that time, and you know, in my mind, it was logical that I owned a business, so let's go to business school mm-hmm. and learn how to run a business. And I really found that after a couple months in, it was, uh, for myself personally, I never really enjoyed school. Just I always got distracted really easily. And um, I found it was more just like teaching me how to be an employee of somebody else's business. And hmm. that's not really what I wanted to achieve. And um, so then I, I actually met a friend who kind of introduced me to some successful business owners and uh, I was intrigued and I realized that, hey, they have the results that I want. And so I do things kind of extreme sometimes and just <laughs> decide, you know what, enough's enough. Let's go follow these guys and, and go from there. Wow. So you ended up dropping out of college and then you ended up uh, coming to a first steps to success at some point. What yeah. year did you actually find us? Uh, my very first event, well, I, I don't remember the exact month, but it was back in 2007. Wow. Uh, yeah. So I've been uh, like faithful for a long, long time. <laughs> wow. 2007. That's incredible. Okay. Yeah. And so you used the skills that we teach, the communication skills, the sales and marketing skills, as well as the financial skills, the debt reduction skills and increasing your income, the job domination portion of what we teach. Um, you applied that into your career. What happened to your income and to your career? Um, things are like astronomically different. I have to like pinch myself at times because <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe that, you know, somebody like me who didn't do well in school and doesn't have that piece of paper saying, I know what I'm doing has been able to achieve so much. 
uh, I was working um, at that same time I was running that business. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go very far, but that's mm-hmm. okay. It was a good learning experience. Yes. I, was also, I was also working at a car dealership uh, washing cars. And uh, after my first event, I just started listening to um, first st- – or sorry, um, it, it's now six figures in six months. It used to be North Carolina. I listened mm-hmm. to that like quite literally I've probably listened to that like 60 or 70 times mm-hmm. um and I just started using those skills that that you had talked about on those CDs and I became friends with um the guy that fixed the com- the single computer that we had at, at this car wash and uh turns out just through building a rapport with the guy and, and you know finding what was important to him finding his needs and finding out that he was running the show all by himself and that was a lot of work he decided to take me under his wing and started teaching me and from there I just used um, just like building rapport and just became friends with pretty much everybody from Mm -hmm. the CEO all the way down to the janitor of that company. And it just, it's crazy. It's, um, he actually told me something, um, my very first advice, and it totally goes along with what you said is, you know, in IT, you don't have to know how to fix anything. All you need to know is who to phone when it breaks. So I've taken that to heart as just being that connector for people. And it's like, hey, I don't know how to fix this problem, but oh, Bob does. So let's hear it. Let's get Bob and George on the phone together and let's get this fixed. (laughs) Wow. So you moved into, uh, you know, from cleaning the cars to IT. Yep. So, and then uh, I moved into a, 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 now I'm in a different company and I do high level enterprise IT. So... (laughs) So basically, we look after um, about 75 remote locations. Uh, we have about 4,000 users that I, I help oversee, and I, I'm their senior network administrator now, and uh, also their security administrator now. So it's kind of crazy. Like I said, this, <laughs> I'm blown away at, how, at the results that have happened. <laughs> okay, so hold on. So you use the teaching that is in uh, six figures in six months. It's also a similar yeah. teaching that's in an unlimited success. And yeah. these teachings you applied at a car washing lot. Yep. So you prospered <laughs> right where you were planted. Yep. And you begin to build a rapport with the staff as well as with the contractor and yep. with customers. So yep. you never know who you're talking to. And if you treat people well and you use our core rapport methodology, in that core rapport methodology, it shows you how to learn about an individual and to find out what makes them tick. What are their strengths? What are their interests? What are their goals? What are their needs? You know, what is it about their job that makes them tick? When you build a relationship, you're building trust when you allow other people to talk about themselves. And so here you're building that rapport with everyone that's around you. And here this guy offers you a position of learning what he does, which obviously was a major graduation from washing cars. <laughs> My gosh, that's incredible yeah. to now, hello, head of security, head of this and head of that. What happened to your income as a direct result of implementing this specific strategy that is taught on six figures in six months? Uh, is exploded. Like... It was absolutely mind blowing. It's I've tripled my income in the last five years just in in the corporate world. Like you know, wow. I've never heard of that happening in the corporate world. Like you know, you have to have all kinds of fancy degrees and you know spend like years and years in school. And you know, I'm just like wow. It was actually a short stint. I was I was helping oversee the support desk, and for about six months, um, I was kind of just I wasn't necessarily the manager per se, but I kind of just was the guy that everyone came to and. Mm-hmm. Uh, we started applying a lot of the skills from first steps with like scalability and duplication. And we were able to produce more results in six months than the previous guy did in like almost two years. And, um, so yeah, so then I was actually at a point where I was helping hire people and I was interviewing people who had these degrees that I didn't have. And (laughs) it's just like, so why should we hire you? It just is just mind blowing to me. (laughs) Dang. I mean, so the guy that's scrubbing the cars to now is in this corporate job, tripling your income inside of five years. Let me ask you a question. There's somebody listening right now. So I, if I just go right here, you know what I mean? Dang. You know, because again, when when we look at the corporate world, many of us, you know, because you and I are very similar, Mike. Okay. We were mm. uneducated people, right? Mm. I was a high school dropout who then went and finished my last couple months just to get that piece of paper that no one has ever asked me for. 
No. I'm not saying don't get the piece of paper. I'm just saying no one ever asked me for it. So, so you know, you and I are similar in that. You know, we, we were not the smartest kids in class, and we were not the sharpest knife in the drawer, and we certainly were not the kids that people said, oh, yeah, they're really going to make it. <laughs> not at all. We were not the most likely to succeed, and we were not the most popular kids in school. And so usually when, when, when it's people like you and I, we limit ourselves, and we think that we cannot – become successful because of a what others have said to us right we mm -hmm. drop out of school you're going to be a loser you're never going to amount to anything i mean that's what i heard you know yeah. you're never going to succeed the biggest hope you got is to marry someone rich you know i oh, a whole lot of faith that my family had in me um but you know and and the teachers and then of course we compare ourselves right to other mm -hmm. smart kids right Absolutely. compare ourselves to them and go well you know of course they're going to make it you know, we ain't. They're they're smart. They're gonna be successful. Man, it's incredible how many stories I've heard <laughs> <laughs> where it's completely flip flopped. So, what do you say to that person that is sitting in that place where you once were, completely limiting yourself, completely thinking that I'm not that smart, I'm not gonna have a lot of opportunity offered to me. They're kind of in that rut and they've completely settled for less. What do you say to that person? Um. You know, it really is, is what you've told me. It's just next year excuses. You know, at the end of the day, we limit ourselves. And, you know, if the fact of like someone like you or I who, who don't have that education can go out and achieve results from following simple instructions, then, you know, anyone can do that. Like, you know, so I say just find what makes people excited and, and just find a way to have desire to to learn and grow and find somebody who has the results in what you're what you're looking to do and and just emulate them and copy them and you know work for free for them to learn the ropes to build a foundation and build rapport with people and so i don't know just go do it <laughs> yes yes and excuses man are well planned lies and they keep us stuck do yeah. you feel that they should go to first steps to success absolutely absolutely <laughs> why uh, um because it's life changing. Like I've been to a lot of different types of events and stuff like that. And I've seen a lot of different types of people speak and everything. And, and by far, hands down, first steps to success is the best event I've ever been to. Mine is creating a dynasty, of course. <laughs> but, um, but just like, you know, a lot of these places you, you get all like super excited, like, yeah, I'm going to go do this. But then you're like, okay, well now what? Where's you know, the how least, to? Yeah. How, yeah. how do I go yeah. do this? And that's what we focus on at first steps to success is the how to, when you get the how to, you have no motivation issues. It's like psh, nope. done. I'm going to do this, which is awesome. And that's exactly what you've done. When we return, uh, we're going to take a short break. When we return, we're going to hear the love side of the story of Mr. Gibson <laughs> and uh, how he used those same skills to grow in his corporate job to finding the bride of his dreams. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue after this. Don't go away. The next segment might just change your life. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Friend, you know me. You know how passionate I am about my faith and the land of Israel. I'm so excited to tell you about something directly from the Holy Land. A good friend in Israel has teamed up with a good friend here in the U.S. to bring an incredible product that harnesses the healing power of the Dead Sea. Have you heard about Mud Zero? Face it, we may not like to talk about it, but some of us need help with removing unwanted hair, especially in unwanted places. Mud Zero is a solution for all skin types for men and women. Rub the mask on your skin, let it sit for five minutes, wipe it off, and you have smooth skin without the irritation. Then follow it up with a Depi lotion daily to reduce hair growth by up to 50%. Best of all, you can feel good knowing that over 10% of the profits goes directly to King's Ransom to feed the orphan and the widow. Go right now to MudZero.com and take advantage of an introductory offer they've created just for us. MudZero.com Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? 
This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Is love a part of your success equation? Come on, is it? I know it's a part of mine. <laughs> Absolutely, it is a part of mine. But for some, it's not. But largely, for most, it is. Love, meeting somebody, falling in love, question is, is how do you meet them? There's a lot of single people out there today that pretty much go to work, come home, sit in front of the television, either playing video games or watching some kind of movie that they rented, and then they go to sleep, they get up, they do it all over again, never putting themselves in a place where they're going to find that bride in Mike Gibson's case. We got to hear this love story. It will inspire you how he came to First Steps to Success, our training seminar. Listen, get to the website, dannyjohnson.com and get yourself registered immediately. Don't mess around here. This young man tripled his income in the corporate world, going from a high school dropout, I mean a college dropout, to then washing cars for a living, to using the skills, the connectivity, communication skills, to then getting into a corporation that now he's responsible for 4,000 people, overseeing 4,000 people in his profession, and tripling his income without the degree in IT, which most would say he would have to have, but he didn't have to have it because he got some extra education in a very unusual way. Well, he took the same education and applied it to his personal life. So Mike, you used the same skills. Yep. <laughs> How did you find this bride? And what uh, made you decide to find the bride? Uh, it's kind of a long story, but the, the short version of it is um, I, I had a, a previous relationship that uh, abruptly ended on us. And, um, you know, it was a it was a very valuable life lesson to me. I thought it was excellent with relationships. But, you know, it turns out I made a whole bunch of mistakes and, and mm -hmm. caused one to fail. But it was the greatest learning experience I have. And because of you, I, I took to heart the whole live life by, by design and not by default. Yep. So um, after that relationship had failed, I was living with my mom and um, super depressed. You know, you're a 30 year old guy living with your mom. I love my mm -hmm. mom to death. But, but <laughs> you know, it's kind of deflating to the ego a little bit. So um, I took took to heart what you had said and I decided to go do something crazy and I nexted my whole life. I hopped on an airplane, flew halfway around the world to Thailand and went and lived in a, a martial arts school and I'd never seen the former martial arts, the Muay Thai um, yeah. ever before. And uh, so I went and lived in a Muay Thai school and my full-time job for two months was was learning Muay Thai. And oh, wow. That was the greatest experience ever. But when I came home, I decided that, okay, so now you know, now let's, let's, let's find somebody else. Cause you know, I, I want to have that person that I can spend the rest of my life with. And, mm -hmm. um, so I just started, um, you know, I did some of the online dating stuff and, you know, I'm really good at filtering pe through people and meeting lots of people, but there's a lot of, it was a lot of hard work for very little results. Yeah. So then I'm like, what would Danny teach me? And I'm like, I know, let's make a list. Yes! And, uh, <laughs> let's start calling people on this list going, Hey, who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? And uh, I got a hold of a mutual friend of ours. Her name was Jen. Um, she's a, she's got a very dear place in my heart. Her and mm -hmm. I had worked together for a couple of years, and um, she was having boy troubles at the time. So uh, we decided let's go for cheesecake for breakfast. And uh, it's totally not your cheesecake, but it was delicious <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> So, and then I just started asking her and she's like, you know, you should phone my friend Shelly. And I'm like, okay. So I didn't think anything of it at first. I thought she was just kidding. And then a week later she seen me. She's like, Mike, did you, did you message Shelly? I'm like, no. And she's like this like sweet little, like innocent kind of girl. And then all of a sudden she like erupts at me and I thought she was going to beat me and stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm like, okay, okay. I'll give Shelly a call. So it took me like a whole day to figure out a message because it was all through text message in the beginning. And, yeah. and just in case Shelly, you're listening here, the message <laughs> totally was, Hey baby, how you doing? <laughs> and then she was all like, oh. <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. It was not like that at yeah. all. But in my mind, whenever I tell the story, that's how it was. <laughs> but 
But yeah, and then just for um, you know, over the next couple of weeks, we just talk through text message and and um, just having an IT background, I, I can communicate well through messaging like that. And yeah. um, so we just we booked an appointment and we went to Starbucks and you know did a a little bit of a presentation yeah. per se and <laughs> you know built some more rapport, made it all about her and yeah. and then the rest has been history. We've been you together brought her out, you brought her out to first steps to success, and yeah. then she hears me teaching this this formula <laughs> that you did. So here I'm teaching, listen, and I actually teach about the dating part just as, as a funny thing, not as a, you know, this is not a dating seminar, but I just talk about the sales process in business and the business model is very similar to finding a mate. So you, mm. you want somebody, make a list of names, call everyone you know and ask them, who do they know that is single? I'm in the market, I'm looking for somebody, I wanna get married, okay? Number two, get a hold of that person, do a presentation, which is the first date. On the date, you wanna make sure and make it all about the prospect. You want to communicate in such a way that gets them talking all about themselves. So Shelly's listening to this teaching and she's like, oh, you did that with me! <laughs> when we continue, we have another short break. We will continue and uh, give you the rest of that story right after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead end place where this gentleman found himself, but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. And now back to the Danny Johnson Show. So there she is, Shelly from Canada. She met this guy, his name is Mike. You've been hearing Mike. Well, she is sitting through our training seminar, First Steps to Success because a guy that she's interested in invites her to that training seminar. He tripled his income in the corporate world, going from a guy that is washing cars to a guy that is making a crazy amount of money, overseeing 4,000 accounts, okay? He's, he's grown tremendously, he's paid off all this debt, just done amazing things with his life, right? So she follows him to First Steps to Success and she's hearing the teaching for business. And she realizes that she's sitting next to him and she's falling for him. <gasps> You're doing this exact formula on me. <laughs> Mike, I freaking love that story that she realizes he did that to me. He used that exact formula. He did that presentation. That's exactly how he did that presentation. So the bottom line is I say this all the time and we've had so many single people who yearn to be married and find their mate. Uh, to use this exact business formula, use it in your personal life. I use it with my kids. And so Mike did it. And Mike, how much sooner before you guys ended up married? And and where did you get married? <laughs> um, well, we decided to commit a year to our life after that very first event. That was October 2014. And um, it's funny, on New Year's Eve, uh, we actually kind of got into a little bit of a, like a kerfuffle and a, a heated debate, I guess you could say. And <laughs> And then all of a sudden she's like, you know, I was going to ask you to marry me. I'm just like, uh, what? <laughs> just like dumbfounded. So it was totally like backwards. So, um, but I, if it was up to me, we probably still wouldn't be married. I'm just we probably would. But yeah. And then through persistence and, and, and doing our absolute best to, to get your attention and, and all that, um, we were very fortunate to have the honor to have, to have you marry us in Orlando, Florida. So we got married in May. It was May 3rd. Yeah. So at and first steps to success. At, at first steps to success. <laughs> it, it was amazing. 
Yeah. We've done many weddings at that event, but this one was precious because uh, so many people had heard the story. I had actually had her on stage not knowing the story, and she explained the story on stage. I was using, I was uh, brought her up as um, someone to role play with and to, to show how the skill sets worked. And here she told the whole story. We're like, <laughs> oh my gosh, we would never have had the chance to be blessed by this story. Thanks so much oh. for joining us today, Mike. Congratulations on your success. A, tripling your income. B, going from a guy washing cars to now being a corporate America and in the IT department without the IT degree uh, to paying off $32,000 worth of debt in seven months um, to meeting your bride using those same skills that you use to become successful in corporate America, I mean, corporate Canada and, 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 and finding your bride and now being married. Congratulations. You guys are still honeymooners. Every event that I've seen you since you got married, you're all over each other with big giant <laughs> smiles. It's really, really a precious thing to watch. So congratulations on your success and thanks for sharing your story with us. Get ready, because coming up next is another couple. This is a married couple who were in a very stressed out position. Their story is really going to inspire you. I can't wait for you to meet Tim and Lori Peffer, uh, who are a dynamic duo who are doing some great things with their lives. Welcome the Peffers to The Danny Johnson Show. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. So where, where was your life? Um, when you stumbled upon this website, dannyjohnson.com. What was going on in your life? Oh my gosh, um, there wasn't a whole lot of good. Um, I was just really struggling. We were struggling together. We had really uh, broken communication yeah. between us and our marriage. We were drowning in a mountain of debt that wasn't going anywhere. We were spending on credit cards when we didn't have the money mm -hmm. and we were just really surviving. Mm -hmm. When you say that you, because, you know, it, it sounds really pretty when we say we didn't have good communication in our marriage. Come on, tell me about the fights. <laughs> <laughs> My part of the fights would be um, we would disagree on something and I would just bolt, go somewhere else, disappear on my husband and just um, would make him crazy wondering where the heck I went. What a no! Respond to text messages, you know, just um, really try to make him pay um, for the disagreement that we were in. Wow. <laughs> I've done that one too. <laughs> you know, it's a high level of manipulation, by the way. Um, yeah, it is. It actually is a high level of manipulation to run from the situation and to make someone worry and wonder about us. Um, there's a lot of people that do that and they don't realize that it is straight up torment and manipulation. And it's actually a form of abuse. It's a form of emotional abuse. Yeah. Did, did you know that, Laura? <laughs> I know it now, but before I just thought this is the way to get my way. Ooh, baby! I'm so glad I asked the question. <laughs> okay, so, um, Mr. Peffer, Tim, tell us about the fights. Your side. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, I, I was very close-minded. Um, it was like, this is the way I believe things should be. And, you know, I would hold her to that, you know, or try to hold her to it, not trying to understand who she was or, um, you know, what made her happy. So you, so are you saying that you were the husband that just cared about what made you happy or that you were trying to make her see that the way for her to be happy was your way? <laughs> That's really it. I had the wrong perspective. We'll put it that way. <laughs> so you found that with trying to force your way on her, she would bolt. Yeah. I, I hate to tell you the truth, but trying to force your way on somebody is also a form of manipulation. <laughs> 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 so you guys were co-manipulators. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is what you were. So you would pressure her, be closed-minded, immovable, and she would do what, you know, people do when they're in that situation, like feeling controlled by our spouse. We want to get the heck out of here. We run, especially when we don't feel like we're being heard. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you something. Tim, what would happen in you when she would just bolt? Come on, tell the truth. What were your text messages? <laughs> no, it was just like, where are you? What's going on? You know, because obviously you have no 
I was the type of person that likes to know the plan. I like <laughs> really? what's going on. <laughs> and so when I have like no input of the plan or no control of what's going on, it definitely would be like, yeah, it'd bring up fear in you. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. not good. And fear because you couldn't control it. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And so you felt when you feel out of control, you, you pr- fear is what was produced inside of you. Okay. Who introduced you to the website dannyjohnson.com? Well, (laughs) um, I'm one of the only ones um, that saw you on TV. I was just flipping the channels one day, saw you on Oprah or one of those shows. I can't even remember when, uh, what show. I'm just watching TV one day, and you said, here's this website. Come get some training. And I was there because um, it was about business, and that was what I was interested in. Wow. Seriously. So it could have been the Oprah Winfrey show. And I believe yes. it was Oprah. I believe it was the preview for Oprah, and then we watched the Oprah show. Wow. What a trip. Okay, so you see me on Oprah, and you go to the website, dannyjohnson.com, and you end up at a live three-day training seminar, First Steps to Success. What happened after leaving that event? Well, it was it was a path to get there because I – first thought that even though we were broke, even though we were not in agreement and our marriage wasn't great, that we were on the right path. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, wait, Tim. (laughs) (laughs) So I was... (laughs) Tim, hold on a second. You just said a mouthful. I love it. So even though we're fighting and we are controlling and manipulative with each other, even though we are drowning under debt... Even though we make money, uh, it, but it's not enough, and we're living off of our credit cards, we're on the right path. Yeah. <laughs> what do I, you What I, do you say to the husbands that are out there with that same mindset? It's like ignoring the fruit of hell in your life. Yeah. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah. I mean, we don't have because that's exactly what we are doing. And that's exactly what I did. Mm-hmm. Um, if I would have known what I know now, I wouldn't have waited. Yeah. It took my wife's tears um, and you coming to a close proximity to where we lived in order for us to have, have the help we needed wow. and to change our life. Wow. And so essentially I would say don't wait. I don't care um, if it was in Taiwan yeah. the next event you need to be there wow wow man that is so shocking because we do don't we tim and laura we have a tendency of ignoring the obvious pain the obvious suffering we have we ignore the obvious hell that we're going through and think oh we're good we're good we're fine everything's good that's like a belligerent drunk man seriously and right hey hold on a second now that i say that you know, it is known that drunks don't think they're a drunk. Alcoholics don't think they have a drinking problem. And it's the same for people in toxic marriages. This is Danny. We'll continue with more right after this. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First Steps to Success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. Helping you become all you were meant to be. This is The Danny Johnson Show. 
Are you intoxicated with the lie that most people are intoxicated with, and that is everything is fine, everything is good? Come on. This is Danny Johnson. On this show, we help you define success for you by asking you probing questions, convicting messages that causes you to look at your life. And this is exactly where Tim and Laura were from Ohio. Their life was a mess, but they thought everything was fine. <laughs> Whatever. And because of that, they waited before they got themselves to a place where they could help heal the marriage, where they could help heal the finances and stop the internal hemorrhaging. They were dying financially. They were dying as a married couple. They were filled with toxicity, and yet they were, well, everything's going to be okay. Come on, doesn't that remind you of a heroin addict? Heroin addicts don't think they have a problem. No addict. Porn addiction, drug addiction, uh, alcohol addiction, shopping addictions, people who have debt addictions, people that are workaholics, none of them think they have a problem. They all think that it's fine, that they're fine, and they're on a good track. They're on a destructive track. The thing about addictions, whether it's addiction to all the things I mentioned and or even the addiction to toxicity in relationships, All addictions have the fruit of hell, but disguised with pride that says, everything's fine. We're going to be okay. That's exactly where Tim and Laura found themselves. They put up with a toxic marriage. They put up with drowning, suffering, suffocating under the pain of debt. Just ignoring it. We're fine. So, Tim, you guys came out of first steps to success. And what happened next? Everything changed. Um, it continues to change, but immediately uh, we had better results in our relationship, better communication. Um, we were able to understand each other. Um, it's a continual process we continue to work on, but uh, we got immediate changes in our relationship. Um, we increased our income right away. I was able to cut back uh, my hours. I was working about 75 or so hours a week. Um, at the current position I was in, and I was able to cut that in half. Wow! Put a focus on time together, um, and really putting our priorities yes. in order, which was each other instead of um, work. You know, fighting and work, and you know, pleasing each other. You know, mm. really seeking um, to please ourselves instead of each other. Yes! Wow! So you guys have paid off seventy-five thousand dollars worth of debt. Seventy-six thousand dollars worth of debt. Um, now. It's yeah, higher now. What is yeah. it? Closer to ninety. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Eliminating that sucker. <laughs> wow, that is so powerful. Okay, so I have a question for you. Do you feel that as the, the as you learned these new communication skills at First Steps to Success? And you learned how to prioritize your life because we often put other things higher priority than each other. Do you feel that because you focused on what was most important, each other, the marriage, healing that, learning how to talk to each other, learning how, and it's funny, people think, oh, I know how to talk to my spouse. Let me ask your spouse. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Okay? Yeah. Let's see what they say. Um, but reality is, is that do you feel that because you guys focused on the higher priority and putting that in order, that that then had your business life fall into the correct line and your finances change, you dropped your hours in half and doubled your income and now have paid off nearly $90,000 worth of debt. Is that the result of keeping the marriage the higher priority? I believe so. Yeah, I believe once we got our priorities in order, it opened the gateway to opportunity. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. So you were one of those workaholics, Tim. 75 yeah. plus hours a week. You were married to the job instead of your bride. Yeah. yeah you took course. a leap of faith and said, no, I'm cutting my hours in half. Yep. Did you ever think that your income would grow by cutting your hours in half? Normally, I would say no. Um, obviously, my belief is now I know. Yeah. I know absolutely that's the truth yes. and that it can and yes. that it did. It did happen for us and continues to open, you know, doors for opportunities. Yes. But at the, I would say 
uh, until, and I remember the exact event, it was um, First Steps in LA, and I want to say it was 2000, I normally know this, 2011 or 2012, mm-hmm. um, and it was the spiritual equipping message, and it was on that exact topic. Wow. And I said, okay, I got to put it in action. Wow. So that's, it did, and then it opened up immediately. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. Laura, um, I want you to tell me how that felt for your husband to put you as the higher priority over work and money and for him to cut his hours in half. How did that change you as a wife and how did you feel about him? Well, Danny, there's nothing like that feeling. And there's nothing like knowing that you are number one and that a phone call doesn't come before you, that a long drive to work, because he was commuting too a lot of times to Pittsburgh and we're in Cleveland, and that all these things don't come before you. So naturally, when you know that you're above all else, it just motivates you to keep going and to... uh, it, it helped me in areas where I needed help to motivate me to treat my husband the way that he deserved to be treated Yeah, and to do my part. Yeah. I have a question for you. Does your marriage relationship, my husband and I were just talking about this. What is the most fulfilling thing in your life? Out of all the relationships you have, out of everything that you do, what is the most fulfilling relationship that you have? It, it's our marriage. I mean, yeah. he's my best friend. I can talk to him about anything. Now that we have developed the communication skills that you teach at First Steps to Success, we can, when we're having a disagreement, talk it out. Yeah. No more running away yes. and actually solving problems instead of just festering them. Yes. Right. Yep. Tim, what about from your perspective? Absolutely. Yeah, she's my best friend. And so um, it was hard. She just came to the last first steps without me, which hmm. is in San Antonio. And I wasn't able to make it. I had some obligations. And so I was like, never again. We can't mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't like, we don't like to travel apart. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have a huge desire to spend time together. And it's a priority. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. so amazing. <laughs> to go from running away from each other, right? That's what you were doing 75 hours a week. You know, mm-hmm. married to she, your job was the other woman, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she would you know manipulate back with with hiding from you. To now, you don't want to be apart from each other. That yeah. that is so powerful. Listen, this is Danny Johnson. We're talking today about you defining success for you, and a love your love life is a part of your success equation. If you don't have it a part of your success equation, you are having a failing equation, because the marriage affects everything your personal relationships with your family affects how you are in business it affects your financial decisions it affects even your health your health will improve by having healthier relationships the next first steps to success is calling your first middle and last name listen to me now you just heard from tim why did i wait he had waited He should not have waited. He used the excuse that he was gonna have to jump on a plane and travel far. He waited until we came to them. He says he regretted that. Don't wait for first steps to come to you. Go to the website right now, dannyjohnson.com. Click on events, register immediately for first steps to success. We'll continue with more right after this. Change your habits, change your future. This is the Danny Johnson Show. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Helping you become all you were meant to be. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Friend, I hope today you got one step closer to defining and crystallizing what success is for you. It's different for everybody. But I know by listening to those two stories, three really, that those people inspired you to ask yourself some questions. Yeah. What do I want in my life and how do I want to get there? 
So I know you were inspired, and I know that you went to that website, dannyjohnson.com, and you got yourself registered for First Steps to Success. Don't wait for it to come to you. Don't wait for the perfect dates. Change whatever plans you have that are competing with that event. There's nothing that has to stop you from getting there because after that event, you're going to have results just like the results that you heard. Meanwhile, on the way, while you are like, because we have, you know, some weeks before the event's taking place, I'd like to give you a free copy of First Steps to Wealth. If you have not received your free copy, if this is your first time tuning in to The Danny Johnson Show, this book is going to help to guide you until you get to that event. It's nothing like the live event, that's for sure. But... This book will at least start to seed and help you immediately make some of those important changes. So it's First Steps to Wealth. Call 866-760-8255. Again, that's 866-760-8255. This thing is packed with financial skills, business skills, entrepreneurial skills, job-related skills, most importantly, those personal relationship skills to help you improve in those areas. You're also going to learn how to pay off all of your debt in the next five to seven years by applying the instructions inside of this book. First Steps to Wealth, call now 866-760-8255. Again, 866-760-8255. Ask for Nelly. Nellie would be glad to serve you. She's an amazing woman in our office, happy and, and eager to serve you in whatever it is that your needs are. But tell her that you just heard the show and that I said that you could have a free copy. You, if you, you can download the copy immediately and or you pay the shipping to get the book to your house, I'd be happy to send you the $15 book to your house. I think that's a square deal, don't you? So give that copy immediately. And by the way, just to give you an update, I know that you've been watching and seeing what we've been doing with the profits of the company, Destiny Global's name of our company, 100% of the profits go straight to the poor, go straight to building houses for the extreme poor in Central America, as well as taking care of kids in India, getting kids out of the sex trade in Thailand, as well as all kinds of hungry people that are here in the United States, educational things. We do a number of different things here in the U.S. as well as abroad. But we use all the profits for Destiny Global, and I am not on salary. Even though I'm the CEO of the company, I do not take a salary at all. 100% of everything, including any books or audios, the training seminars, all of it goes to the poor. And I know that you've been watching. Where are we at with that? Well, friends, we have, uh, we are getting closer and closer every single day to our goal. If you'd like to check it out, go to kingsransom.org. That's kingsransom.org. And you'll see the Nicaraguan Project for Building Homes. Look and check out the number of what you've been a part of. It only costs $5,200 to build a brand new home for a family who is homeless. We also put them in business. Keep posted on it. Check it out and maybe give a little if you can. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success.